We're in the larval rearing cave, and we're looking at baby grunt sculpins right now. Well, these eggs here actually aren't hatching yet. They were laid probably like a month ago, and they were laid in a position where I could actually remove them from the habitat, um, which is just safer for the eggs. Then I can remove any like predator relationships or anything like that and put them here, which has a flow through system still, but there is no danger of them flowing out of the system. And we put protections in like this screening here and other things just to keep them safer. In the habitat, we put things in there that they typically um, would lay eggs in. So that's usually barnacle shells, different like rocks to create rocky crevices that they might want to try to lay their eggs in. From what we know, typically the females will court the males. They'll actually chase them around their environment and corner them in rocky crevices or barnacle shells. The males will watch the eggs after the female lays them and he will watch them for, we don't really know the exact amount of time, but it could take anywhere from like four to five months, maybe longer in Alaska, could be shorter. It really just depends on water temperature and other environmental factors. Their body plan is actually built for barnacles. So if they're facing outward, it looks like a closed barnacle. And if they're facing inward, then their tail looks like an open barnacle. So they're evolutionary adapted to that environment. They're typically found on like sea walls and rocky intertidal areas, so they find those little crevices. And we try to mimic that the best that we can so they can have the best quality of life here.